This preoperative patient education informational video is intended to educate patients on specific medical procedures. Patients are strongly encouraged to contact their surgeon for more information or with questions regarding the information presented in this video. Hello, I am Dr. John Matsumura, a member of the Society for Vascular Surgery. This video will help you understand the carotid stenting procedure. The diagnosis of carotid artery stenosis is usually made by the doctor hearing a brewery in the neck or when an ultrasound is performed to evaluate for possible causes of stroke. Carotid artery stenosis is a narrowing that affects one of the main arteries of the brain and is responsible for a large number of strokes. Stroke is the third leading cause of death in the United States and the leading cause of disability in adults. The purpose of treatment of carotid artery stenosis is to reduce the risk of future stroke. There are many treatment options for carotid artery stenosis. These are medical management, carotid endarterectomy, and carotid artery stenting. All patients should have medical management, even if they have a carotid operation or stenting. Medical management includes drugs that disable platelets and drugs to reduce inflammation and cholesterol buildup. Blood pressure control and smoking cessation are two important components of medical treatment. Many patients with severe carotid stenosis undergo operative repair with carotid endarterectomy. In this operation, a small incision is performed in the neck and the plaque is removed. Usually the artery is closed with a patch. Carotid artery stenting is an alternative to carotid endarterectomy and is currently approved only for patients at high risk for traditional endarterectomy. Patients who have carotid artery stenting need to have a contraindication to endarterectomy. The contraindication may be due to medical illnesses or anatomic limitations. For example, the patient may have severe heart disease that makes a general anesthetic more hazardous, or may have recurrent narrowing after previous carotid surgery that makes dissection in the neck more hazardous. The procedure of carotid artery stenting is simple for the patient. A catheter is placed in the artery, usually through the artery that feeds the leg, and is tracked through the patient's arterial circulation up into the arteries of the neck. Following confirmation of the severity of the narrowing and also evaluating for suitable anatomy, a carotid artery stenting procedure may be indicated. Usually a device is placed past the lesion to prevent debris from moving into the brain, or alternatively, a balloon is inflated that prevents blood flow from carrying debris into the brain. This is called embolic protection. During this period of protection, the physician will dilate the narrowing, place a stent to maintain the patency of the carotid artery, and sometimes dilate again afterwards. The catheters are then removed from the circulation and pressure or device used to prevent bleeding from the puncture site in the leg. Often, patients are observed overnight and may require additional therapy to normalize their blood pressure. The main benefit of carotid artery stenting is the ability to treat the narrowing of the artery and reduce risks of future stroke. The main risk of the procedure involves a stroke occurring during or immediately after carotid artery stenting. Other complications include puncture site bleeding or injury to the artery that the catheter is replaced through and bad reactions to the contrast dye. There is also a risk of heart attack and fatal complications. For patients at high risk for endarterectomy, in the three year time frame, risks of stroke are similarly low between carotid stenting and carotid endarterectomy. In the long term, the risks of carotid artery stenting include unknown durability. Studies are ongoing to evaluate whether there is a higher chance for repeat narrowing or fracture of the carotid stents or other unknown complications. I hope you have found this information helpful in your decision about whether to undergo carotid artery stenting. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.